use um, humor and, and beauty sometimes to bring levity to pictures that do have you know, a social message that I'm trying to convey. To talk about things that are violent or ugly or dark um, in the world and to use images or imagery that's violent, ugly and dark, people don't look at it. They've seen enough and CNN and the 24-hour news channels have numbed us to that uh, type of imagery and to the point where, where we don't really feel uh, any connection with it. I use um, my ideas of, 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 of beauty or our humor and color to get people's attention. I'm taking this idea, this notion of the Renaissance, which is that the proof that God exists is through the beauty of man. And like in nature, like in the, 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 the flower series, you know, we are a part of nature and we have our moment of beauty in our youth and vigor, and then we um, age and decay and die. I feel a responsibility too when, when I'm making photographs that the message is clear that there's more expected of a picture hanging on a gallery wall than that of a picture in a magazine. I take that seriously and I try to, try to be very clear when a lot of contemporary art, I don't think, makes that attempt. I mean, there's always clever art being made and there's always something novel being made. I don't think that's enough anymore. So I would hope that artists were moving in that direction to, to create things that would um, not just add to the confusion of the world and reflect that, as all contemporary art has done, but at this precarious time that we live in, would actually shine some light, some enlightenment for us, you know? And I think those answers have to come from the artists, and I don't know where else they're gonna come from.